Welcome to the show of the guy that speaks into a broken mic. Will you choose the right decision? The sketchy Amazon iPhone or the one from the actual Apple store or those ones that are from Sprint or T-Mobile or they're actually kind of the same company, but whatever. The only thing that T-Mobile does different is uh, hi, would you like to repair your phone? No, it's broken. You broke it, my phone. Well, you said it was running just fine, so I wanted it to stop running. That'll be $5,000. In three, two, one, pick the right decision. Sketchy Walmart phone. I mean, sketchy Amazon phone. The sketchy iPhone SE first generation from Amazon or the sketchy or the not so sketchy um, iPhone SE second generation from the Apple store. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Comment down below. But anyways, camera person, what's your, what do you think? Um, I think the non sketchy Apple phone. Nah. I already got myself an Apple phone one time, but then remember two days later I returned it. Mm -hmm. So, I just feel like the only phone that's good enough for me, or at least that's not a hand-me-down, mm -hmm. is kind of the, it's kind of an iPhone SE first generation or second generation, or just mm -hmm. a phone that still has like a home button or something. Mm. Or like... If it's not like, if it's from eBay, it might end up like this when it gets to your house. Oh. Mm-hmm. It'll never charge. Try powering it on. Nothing happens. Okay, but this one has just been water damaged. Oh. Comment down below, which one do you think? The Apple Store or the Amazon Store? Or should... Okay, and next time... We're going to be choosing a really random question from Chuck E. Cheeses. Should I get the Amazon ripoff version or should I find one on a different website as the real one? The one he comes around and walks around on random kids' birthdays.